Hey kids! Alright, so it's been a few months since I made a video. Uh, a lot of people have sent me messages over the course of these few months uh, asking me when I was going to make another one. But the truth is, I just didn't feel really compelled to add any more media into the world. Right now, there's so much happening, and I feel like uh, every time I turn on the news, I want to cry. So I don't really want to talk about it at all. I just want to hide in a little box and not experience anything. But of course, that is not how the world works, uh, and you can't protect yourself from everything all the time. Um, but we do our best. And we do this a lot of ways when we see the world through the lens of a social media account, like uh, Instagram or Twitter or Facebook. Now this filtering is really important to me. Um, I have been experiencing uh, something lately that I've kind of dealt with the entirety of being on the internet. Obviously, I was born on the internet. Uh, I had a live journal account when I was like nine and uh, kind of kept going with that until uh, after high school. So I've definitely been on the internet. I was an early adopter of this online medium that we all love so much. Um, so I'm no stranger to the phenomenon of anonymous hate or even uh, hate that people sign their names to. Some people just aren't ashamed to be assholes, you'll find. But uh, it's been happening to me a lot lately, uh, to the point where a couple weeks ago I actually turned off the anonymous function on my Tumblr for the first time ever in its like eight year career. Because someone asked me if I ever felt insecure about my nose after I had uh, reblogged a bunch of old selfies. And I thought, well you did it. I, you, you, you tried to and you accomplished it. I uh, didn't feel self-conscious about my nose before, but now I do, so thanks. Um, and the thing is, like, I don't really care about my nose. Uh, I got a bit, you know, it's kind of big, it's the biggest thing on my face. Like a nose is. That's how people work. And uh, I know that person's like, haha, I got to her, and you know what, like, congratulations. You're a dick. I don't know what, why. I never understood why anyone would want to send anonymous hate, uh, unless someone did something really shitty, like would I send Jeffree Star anonymous hate? Sure, but you know what? I'd probably just sign my name to it. There's no reason for me to be anonymous when I'm telling people I don't like them. If I'm telling someone I don't like them, I want them to know it's me. I want them to know, hey, that girl doesn't like me. I'm not going to talk to her anymore. Because you know what? I don't want to talk to you either. But, uh, you know, you can't always just turn off a function when things aren't going the way you want them to. You know, if someone leaves uh, negative Instagram comments, I can delete them, pretend they didn't happen, but I still saw them. And of course, that's, uh, you know, that's exactly what these people want. They want to make you feel bad and I don't really know why. Some people pay other people to filter their social media for them so they don't have to see stuff like that. And one argument is that by doing that, you're kind of living in a bubble. But I say, the world's awful. Like, fucking yeah, live in your bubble if you can. Stay in your bubble as long as you can. If I could be bubble boy for the next four to eight years and just not experience anything going on in the world and then had someone wake me up when September ends, I would. Usually I can ignore anonymous hate or hateful comments. I actually remember a few months ago, or maybe it was longer, time's a social construct, it doesn't matter, but someone had left a comment on uh, an Instagram photo of me, I think with uh, an ex-girlfriend or something like that, and it was some sort of anti-gay, hate, homophobic message, um, and I didn't even see it. it. It had been on like a really old photo that they had like scrolled back in my timeline to find, uh, just to make their point, but what was interesting is that other people were commenting on it, attacking the person that was being homophobic, uh, and that's actually how I even noticed that the homophobic comment was there. I didn't even see it until other people were defending me for it, which is so nice um, that I have people that want to go to bat for me. And like, I'm super appreciative of all the people um, who are supportive and loving and this little cocoon of love that we've built together. And I'm so happy that it exists. And I'm so happy that all of you exist. Um, but I am very aware that there's more to the world than just the you know, 12,000 followers I have on Instagram. And I'm not sure what the crossover is between people who follow me on Instagram, Tumblr, or Snapchat. Uh, do I have any other social media? No, other than Facebook, but I don't use my face. I don't post on my Facebook. No one sees it. No one cares what I have to say on Facebook anymore anyway, so it doesn't count. If you do follow me on some of those platforms, which you must, I'm assuming if you're seeing this video, if you could just like comment below which ones you follow me on, or which one you followed me on first, and then how you found the other one, or something like that, that would be great, because I'm just, cu I'm just curious, because I don't have nearly as many followers on Tumblr as I do on Instagram, but I've also had my Tumblr a lot longer, uh, and the, my followers have stayed pretty much in the same spot, and I mean, to be fair, same with my Instagram, it's been 
the same amount for months and months and months. Uh, I think people come and go enough that the number just stays where it is, which is great. You know, I don't really use tags. I don't know how people find me to begin with, uh, but I'm glad you all stick around and that's cool. I don't really know what the point of this video was. Oh, I had a point once. Dang it. I just want to say that even though people are probably going to continue being hateful jerks, I'm not going anywhere. Some nights I will get uh, over 100 messages on my Tumblr asking me for advice or uh, to weigh in on something that they're dealing with. And to me, that's more important than someone telling me I have a big nose. The positive effect that I can have via my social media is way more important to me than the negative effect that other people can have on me. Uh, it, it outranks it by so much to me. I really don't care what you think of me. I just don't. I don't have the emotional energy to care. Uh, sometimes I get upset, sure, but at the end of the day, I look great. There's nothing I can do about my nose. It's on my face. My brother broke his nose twice snowboarding. He had the same nose as me before that. Then it was like, Picasso. Ugh, what a cutie pie. I think that's it. Oh, I also wanted to mention that I started school again. Um, I'm like a double time full-time student. I'm taking the maximum amount of credits that my college lets me take without asking the dean personally if I can take more, uh, which is a little over ambitious of me, but I just kind of want to be done with it at this point. Um, so I'm taking seven courses, but only over three days of the week. Um, and I have an online course, but that's, you know, whenever I feel like it, which is usually Sunday night right before my assignments are due. Am I right, folks? Am I right? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Um, so I am really, really busy and really, really tired all the time. Um, so for right now, I've kind of put the pen pal thing on hold. Uh, I'm still piling up my letters as I get them, but I just don't have the emotional energy to, uh, to respond right now. I will get back to it once I finally get into the swing of school. It hasn't even been a month yet. So I'm learning how to be a student again. I haven't done this in a few years now, so it's a little harder than anticipated. But uh, I really enjoy all of my classes. None of them are really particularly difficult, which is great. But now, uh, after being out of school for like four, five years, I'm ready to go back and like tackle it, take it down. Um, but yeah, uh, if you want to keep sending me letters, by all means, please do. Um, like probably at least 10 that I haven't responded to. I don't mind, I don't mind adding to the stack, seriously. Of course, as usual, uh, feel free to comment on this video, comment on an Instagram post, uh, send me a message on Tumblr uh, if you wanna talk that way. I'm always open to conversation, even if you just wanna tell me how big my nose is. I love you, have a good day.